we talked about the leaves being solar generators and so let's just talk a little bit about how that works so this leaf is generating sugars but it takes sugar to make sugar so it's burning some of that sugar to make more sugar but it it's so efficient that it actually has a surplus it creates the sugar it takes what it needs and it sends the surplus to the branch that's supporting that leaf that branch needs some energy so it is taking what it needs sending the surplus to the branch that is supporting that branch and so on until it gets to the trunk so the sugars in the trunk are being stored but there's still a surplus that surplus is sent to the root system and the bark tissue on the roots is where a good portion of the surplus sugars are being stored and all summer long this tree is producing enough sugar to store away what it needs for the entire winter um, something to consider in the spring not so much with apples but apricots and peaches the stone fruit first thing in the spring before there's a single leaf on the tree it's just loaded with blossoms each one of those blossoms is full of pollen and nectar the bees come and they're literally drinking sugar water out of the out of the blossoms where does all that sugar come from there's no leaves on the tree so the answer is that the sugar in those blossoms is coming from the energy that this tree stored the previous summer there's enough energy to support this tree all summer to store what it needs in the winter and still produce produce the blossoms itself plus all the nectar and the pollen that's inside of each and every blossom so the tree is really efficient at creating and storing sugars and we talked about the root system as being like a battery well that's where the majority of the sugars are being stored in that root system and so to kind of further to use this example of of the solar generator a little bit better i'm going to explain this just a little bit differently if the leaf is the solar panel the branch is the wire the root system is the battery and if you've if you've dealt with electricity you'll know you can't just run tons of energy through a really thin wire the more energy that is running through a wire the bigger gauge wire you're going to need the same is true with fruit trees the more solar panels per branch the larger the branch needs to be to transport that sugar so it's not uncommon for us to find larger heavier branches on the south and southwest side of the tree and thinner branches on the north and northeast side of the tree and the reason being is the sun typically goes across the sky at a kind of a slight south angle and then the the largest amount of solar energy that hits the tree it usually happens in the af late afternoon on that southwest side what if you have heavy branches on the south and southwest side and light branches on the north and northeast side well by removing some of the solar panels or removing some of the branches altogether you're going to slow the growth of the one side and by leaving the solar panels and branches on the other side you're going to speed up the growth of the other side of the tree so you can create a balanced tree by being more aggressive on the south side less aggressive on the north side 